Hey guys, what's up? It's Paul Whitfield, and today we're gonna be talking about bubbles. Tiny bubbles. No, not those kind of bubbles. We're gonna talk about frozen bubbles, cause it's that time of year when it can be brutally cold outside, and you don't wanna be outside taking photos or video for very long. But I was recently online looking at some photos, and saw these frozen soap bubbles that people were making and thought, wouldn't it be cool to film the whole process? So I found a soap bubble recipe in a magazine and did some tweaks to it because uh, the bubbles kept blowing away. But essentially, it was six parts water, two parts dish soap, two parts white corn syrup, which gives the bubbles more rigidity and a dash of sugar, which gives the crystallization effect, and a plastic straw. And I'll post these details below. So I decided to film this and do my testing at night. It was a little colder, minus 15, which is about minus five Fahrenheit. And the colder temperatures allow the bubble to freeze quicker and not pop as quick. And I basically, was using this flashlight as my only light source and just had it shining on the railing here. Now when I did it, I had a pile of snow and I was basically blowing the bubbles into this pile of snow. So the snow created more of a surface to hold the bubble to or else I was finding it was popping. And the way it works, once the soap bubble is blown, the water molecules get trapped between the layers of the soap and the water freezes prior to the soap bubbles popping. That's why you want it to be as cold as can be. So I set up my camera with an f-stop of 22 to get as much focus area around the bubble as I could. And I did some tests with the white light and then this flashlight actually comes with different filters, a red, green and blue and they just snap right on the end of the flashlight and so I did some tests with a blue tint as well anyways here's what I came up with check it out So after experimenting and seeing how these bubbles turned out, I thought, wouldn't it be awesome to use one of these as a practical effect in some type of video? So I went into After Effects, found a Starfield scene, added some haze, masked out my bubble, 
added some motion, and it created this pretty cool spacey planet scene. And as you can see today, it's a little warmer than the day that I shot these bubbles because the snow is melting on my head. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, and I'm gonna go and take a shower. We'll see you in the next one.